What's going on everyone? In this video, we'll discuss how we can quickly access and calculate the number of learnable parameters in a Keras model. Let's get to it. All right, we're here in our Jupyter Notebook where we have a very basic Keras sequential model. This model has an input layer with two input features, or two nodes, a single hidden layer with three nodes, and an output layer with two nodes. And really, everything that's displayed here you should already be familiar with based off of earlier videos in this playlist. Now, even in those earlier videos, we've already utilized this model.summary function. Remember, we would use it to check out the architecture of our model, or when we verified the output shape from each layer when we learned about zero padding. But we never talked about this last column called param number. This column shows us the number of learnable parameters within each layer. And at the bottom of this output, we have the total number of learnable parameters within the network, which Keras refers to as trainable params. We've discussed what a learnable parameter is and how to calculate the number of these parameters in each layer and within the entire model over in the Deep Learning Fundamentals playlist. So go check that out if you're not sure what these things are, and then head back over here. This model that we have here is actually an exact implementation of the conceptual model we worked with over in that video. And if you recall, in our single hidden layer, we indeed calculated that there were nine trainable parameters, just as Keras is showing us here in this output. That was from the six weights and the three biases within this layer. We also calculated that the output layer contained eight learnable parameters, consisting of six weights and two biases. Now, recall previously we showed how we can access the weights and biases within the model by calling this get underscore weights function that we discussed in our video on bias initialization. By calling this, we can view how the number of weights and biases we calculated in each layer add up to the totals we get in the param column of model.summary. So here, we first have our weights for the hidden layer. And recall, these are randomly initialized using Xavier or Glorot initialization by default in Keras. So we have these six random numbers here corresponding to the six weights we calculated for this layer. And then we have our three bias terms, which we previously learned were initialized to zeros by default. And the sum of these two numbers does indeed add up to the nine learnable parameters that was given for this layer in the output of model.summary. We can also do the same thing for our output layer. So again, we have six weights that have been randomly initialized, and we have two bias terms initialized to zeros. Summing these two numbers, we have eight learnable parameters, again matching the output for this layer in model.summary. Adding eight to the nine learnable parameters that we got for the previous layer, we have 17 total learnable parameters, which corresponds exactly to what Keras shows us for the total number of trainable params in the output above. So there you have it. That's how we can access and confirm the total number of learnable parameters in our Keras model. Next, we'll be discussing how this is done with a convolutional neural network as well. And we'll see there are just a couple of slight differences in the calculations we have to consider when dealing with CNNs. So stay tuned for that. See you soon.